Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yatsi. Here's a look at your top stories on this Thursday. Air conditioning is out at the Miami VA Medical Center as temperatures continue to soar. The AC shut down as crews performed maintenance on a chiller. Elective surgeries put on hold. Some patients were moved around the facility as a precaution. It is a second AC issue at the VA since June when a chiller was replaced after breaking down the hospital's community living center. Florida's cop education official dropping out of the town hall aimed at addressing the state's new standards for teaching black history. Education Commissioner Manny Diaz, handpicked by Governor Ron DeSantis for the job last year, agreed to show up despite recent backlash over new curriculum guidelines on how slavery is taught in classrooms. After news who's backing out of the town hall in Miami Gardens, State Senator Chevron Jones released a statement saying, quote, the commissioner and DeSantis administration have once again turned their back on the largest black city in the state. Now to a crime alert man under arrest accused of opening fire as drivers took over a busy South Florida intersection. Cell phone video shows chaos happening off of Northwest 146th Street and 7th Avenue during an illegal street racing takeover. At least three people were injured in that shooting. Miami-Dade police say 20-year-old Michael Trio's car crashed into another that prompted the shooting. He was out on probation after being arrested in January on charges of facilitating drag racing on the highway. He's now facing three attempted murder charges. And the alleged mastermind behind a high-end auto theft ring is now behind bars. 35-year-old Clint Cox accused of coordinating luxury car thefts across South Florida. Investigators say Cox hired teens to steal the cars, which he then sold afterward. He is facing several charges, including grand theft auto and selling stolen property. His bond was set at $100,000. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered all day long on air and online. Head to Local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.